All right, welcome to today's episode of Dashboard Conservative. My name is Dakota Hart, your host again today. And today we're going to be talking about personal finance and victimhood. The two go hand in hand. Um, you see a lot of the issues today where people claim victimhood in their lives because they can't get ahead in life. But yet there's also a strong correlation with those individuals with being the poorest of managers of their personal finances. So I just want to talk a little bit today about the realities of personal finance just to clear up any, uh, any confusion there is for people that feel they are victims of society. Most people spend all of their income, if not more, on wants instead of needs. So you look at today's average costs. The average car loan, the average car payment every month is $500 a month. That's a ton of money to be spending every single month. Think about how much you make per month. That's how much you're spending on your car. And that's the average car payment. And you can't cast that off as saying, well, the one percenters that buy $100,000 vehicles are driving that up. No, they're not. They're paying cash for their vehicles. They're actually buying what they can afford. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a car payment. I've had several of them in my life. I will try not to have any in the future. We are lucky enough that we paid off my wife's car, so we have no car payments in our household right now. Um, but the idea is that, well, I want to live the American dream, so I'm going to go out and buy whatever I want. I'm going to live the American dream, but I'm also going to be paying $500 a month for that dream. Nobody that gets ahead in life does those type of things long term. We all do it when we're young, but when I met my wife, she is an absolute rock star, way out of my league. And I was driving a 1998 Buick Park Avenue with a rusted hood and a rusted passenger door. It was, a, I bought it for $1,200 because it's what I could afford. And I drove that for probably about a year before I could afford something a little bit better. And then I could afford a little something better. And now I'm in a very nice truck. Um, but the idea that you can spend $500 a month on a car payment and then feel like, well, I can't get ahead in life. No crap. You're spending $500 a month on your car. And then the average person, millennial, no kids, no spouse, spends $150 to $180 per week on eating. How in the world can you spend $700 a month eating? You can go to the grocery store and cook yourself a meal that can last two nights, if you're okay eating leftovers, I am, for $20, $25. Hmm. So if you can spend $20 on two nights, multiply that by three, that gets you six nights for 60 bucks, and then you can go out to eat, maybe spend 40 bucks, there goes $100 a week. Well, guess what? You're not spending 180 a week. There's 320, 350 dollars per month back into your pocket. So, buy a car you can afford. Be smart with how you eat. I've already saved you 850 dollars a month. It's about 10 thousand dollars a year. That's pretty good. And people think, well, I need to buy a house. Everybody knows you can't get ahead if you don't buy a house. Now. I understand that some of the things I'm going to say are going to sound redundant for anybody that's ever listened to Dave Ramsey because I avidly listen to Dave Ramsey and I do follow, I don't, I don't follow all of his investment principles, but I do follow his saving and his personal finance principles. No credit card debt. If you can't afford the $10,000 of furniture to go into your new apartment, to your new house, go buy $3,000 furniture. Don't take out a loan and have payments. Payments are going to eat away at your income and you're eventually going to have furniture payments. The ring you bought your girlfriend is going to be on payment, your car payment, your house payment. You're going to have none of your income to get ahead in life. So do things that set you up for success where you have money. People claiming, well, I don't have enough money to get ahead. The big man is always going to be much further ahead than me. They don't always have to be. They might be right now. If you're 25 years old, yeah. There are plenty of people that are further ahead in life than you right now, but it doesn't have to be like that forever. You can take control of your finances. You can do things to get ahead in life. And it just baffles me that people say they are victims of society because all they're trying to do is just live the normal American dream and yet they can't get ahead. Their bills are more than they make. 
Well, anybody in this country can go out and get a job making 40000 a year. I firmly believe that. You might have to take a starter job like I did, making less than that. But within a few years, you can get to $40,000 per year. Um, so let's say you're taxed 70, you could take home 75% of your income, that's $30,000 per year. That's still a decent amount of money. But then you talk about $6,000 a year in car payments. You talk about eating out and spending eight, dollars $9,000 a year doing that. Then you tack on your rent. Yeah, you don't have any money. So maybe do a budget, be an adult with your finances, and you'll find out pretty quickly that there are plenty of ways for you to get ahead in life. You're getting in your own way. Don't blame society for you not being able to get ahead. Everyone can get ahead in America. You're not in the 3.5 million billion people in this world that make less than $2.50 a day. Yeah, those people have a tough time getting ahead. I guarantee you make more than that. And I guarantee anybody in this country can get ahead in life and not feel a sense of victimhood if they're simply smart with their money, do a budget, and just live within or under your means, save, invest, save and buy a nicer car, but don't live outside of your means to try and keep up with the Joneses. It'll never get you ahead. The Joneses, the people that have the nice house, the nice cars, they get a lot of crap thrown at them, but to be honest with you, most of them were very smart with their money. And the reason they are where they are today is because they didn't spend their money frivolously. They didn't buy things they couldn't afford and eventually got to a place where they could afford a lot of things. Thank you for watching today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you tomorrow.